hello guys welcome to my channel techmon.in this is uh, another video in the playlist short and simple so in this part i'm going to tell you how we can create rank tense rank and row number in a in PySpark. so also i'm going to tell you what the difference between the three is for this we require window which i've already imported here also as you can see here i've imported uh, functions uh, because we'll be needing it uh, all the rank tense rank and row number in uh, reside inside functions package okay so as you can see here i've imported it as if reason being functions uh, contain some min max such functions and similar uh, functions are available in python built-in they are built into python ecosystem so if i am going to write from pyspark.sql.functions import star it is going to override those functions so i don't want that that's why i have uh, written it like that next uh, pyspark i've created a spark session here uh, i've created a dummy da uh, data set here it contains only a single column containing the values a b b c c c and d okay what uh, now we are going to learn how to apply uh, create a row number on this data set so let me start data i am going to create a new column with column it takes in two values first is the new column name so i am going to uh, name it row number num okay and second is the values uh, which it will place inside this column okay so that is going to be our from f functions i'm going to import row number now it is run over a partition or uh, something window it takes a window of functions so i'm going to create a window function partition by i'm not going to partition the data set on anything so i leave it blank and we can also skip it okay it doesn't matter uh, still i'll give it a uh, partition by order by and i'm going to order on name column okay that's it we have created a row number column let's see the results dot show i'm going to uh, by default it uh, shows us uh, top 20 records so since we don't have uh, that many records we have five and six records so that will be sufficient as you can see row number uh, does uh, just simply gives index starting from one and keeps on increase uh, in uh, keeps it increasing by each uh, row so uh, row one uh, because we ordered by name so let uh, me uh, order on descending just to show you so now we are uh, ordering it in descending order so d will be the first row so as you can see here d has uh, got minimum value minimum number one then uh, c two another c three four five and up to seven okay row number just assign index to each of the record whether there are uh, it does not take uh, takes into consideration if records are duplicated or not it just assigns a an index to each of those values okay now similar to this we are going to create rank and just going to copy and paste it here and call it rank that's it and similar to row number we are going to create the rank which is simple rank here over partition by as i mentioned above partition by are not necessary so i'll also uh, skip it here and show you how it works uh, same uh, we are going to order in descending uh, order on uh, name now let me show you the results so what happens uh, we have not cached uh, data or store uh, stored the data in mem uh, anywhere right in hard drive or anywhere so what it is going to do with PySpark, it will uh, run from starting create the data frame it will also as you can see here it will apply row number again and then it will apply rank so to prevent it from doing that what we do we cache the data so it will once we have executed it up to this point it will 
save the data in memory and we will not uh, it will not execute any of the steps above that so it's like a saving a dumb uh, data in memory okay so let me run it again and next uh, the calculation after that will be much faster because we have already cached the data up to this point but uh, may, uh, use cache only when the data is small otherwise uh, it will throw out of memory error and something like that okay now let's uh, read in our rank so as uh, you can see d ha again has been given first rank then for uh, three c's as you can see here they have been given same rank because they are duplicate right and they have been assigned to but now the strange things come for b b both b have been given same rank five but as you can see after two we are getting five and how we are getting to five let's start from first value one two three four five so as you can see here it uh, does not uh, Put, uh, put the values in continuous order it keeps track how many actual uh, rows has passed and for example uh, for, for uh, b as you can see here it's the fifth row and four has already passed so it will take this value and put it for both the p and when uh, the a comes it already knows up uh, up to uh, before seven six rows already exist so it put the next value in there but sometimes if we want to filter out what are the top 10 values right so if i uh, or let's say what are the top uh, three values right so in this case it will only filter out these it will never give us p right as you can see here uh, a reason for that is uh, top three values even if there are duplicacies uh, d c p both are in uh, all of these are in top three but if uh, we put filter d will never make it because it never got a continuous value it got uh, broke in between one two and there's a jump uh, we got five directly what if we want continuous values like one two 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 three three and four for that reason uh, for that purposes we have dense rank here so i'm going to call it dense rank okay and i'm going to remove cache here because it has already cached up to the this point no need uh, no calculations will be these calculations will be done again now for dense uh, dense rank we just write dense rank and that's it now let's see all the three values so as you can see here we got one for d two for all the three c's then uh, three for both the p's and finally four for a so now if i have to filter what are the top three you know names right so if i did it based on row number it will only give dcc right uh if i do it uh, based on rank it will only return dccc and based uh, when i'll do it on tens rank it will return me dccbp okay these all the values so depending upon our purpose how we want we it's respective of the uh, you know duplicacy we just want only top three records meaning in total top three records then row number is the way to go okay but uh, we want for rank function I, I cannot come up with a utility of rank function right now uh, maybe to get some you know uh, charts like Pareto chart or something like that maybe that's where it can come handy or we are trying to keep track you know what's the gap between the item or something like that but dense rank if you want to pick top three categories even if they are duplicate we want them then dance uh, dense rank is way to go so the, um, this is how we apply these three functions and that's the basic difference between the three so that's it uh, for this session
hope you are enjoying my work learning from it please subscribe to my channel and also like the videos if you are really really finding them valuable to you so that's it for now thank you bye bye